Hi everyone, Linda here. So, I hear so many people say, and even prophecies made about this, where people say that Ishmael was the counterfeit promise of Sarah and Abram, because Abram and Sarah could not wait for their real promise for Isaac. So what they did, they went and they made it happen for themselves. They acted out of the flesh, out of disobedience, instead of waiting on the Lord to bring in the promise. Then Ishmael was born as a counterfeit to their promise because they couldn't wait on the Lord. But people, this is not true. If you read the word of God, Genesis 16 verse 16 says, Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore Ishmael to Abram. So Abram was how old when Ishmael was born? 86. Now, if we go to Genesis 17 verse 1, it says, When Abram was 99 years old, how old? 99 years old. Note that this is 13 years after Ishmael had been born already. The child Ishmael is already 13 years old. Verse 1, let's read it again. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. Then God said to Abram, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I will bless her and also give you a son by her. Then I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. God is telling Abram at the age of 99 years old, 13 years after Ishmael had been born already, that his wife Sarah will fall pregnant within a year's time and them a son which they must call Isaac. Verse 17. Then Abram fell on his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born to a man who is 100 years old? And shall Sarah, who is 90 years old, be a child? And Abram said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. So even Abram struggled to believe God that Sarah will fall pregnant. So much so that Abram even said to God that Ishmael might live before God, the son Abram already had, because Ishmael is already there and he's Abram's firstborn. Verse 19, then God said, No, Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his descendants after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. He shall beget twelve princes and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you at the set time next year. Then he finished talking with him and God went up from Abram. So exactly one year after God promised Abraham at the age of 99 years old that his wife Sarah will fall pregnant, Isaac was born. So when Isaac was born one year later, Ishmael was already 14 years old. So there is no way that Ishmael could have been the counterfeit promise which Sarah and Abraham brought forth out of their flesh and through disobedience because they didn't believe God to bring forth the promise of Isaac or because they couldn't wait for God to bring forth the promise of Isaac. At that time, when Sarah told Abram that they should have a child through their maidservant because 
Sarah couldn't fall pregnant because that's what they did in those times. When a woman couldn't fall pregnant, she could have another woman step in and act like a surrogate for her. So Ishmael was not the counterfeit promise. For Ishmael to have been the counterfeit promise, Abraham and Sarah would have used the surrogate whilst they were waiting on the Lord in that period that they were waiting on the Lord for Isaac, the real promise. But that wasn't the case.